this is just a quick walk around of our newest build which is a showman's living van style um, I suppose it's a glorified shepherd's hut really but uh, the standard is quite a bit higher it's just under 23 feet long just over 8 feet wide uh, plus windows and flues and everything else um, as you can see we've got an open balcony at one end which is 4 feet in depth so that's ample to get a couple of chairs on uh, lots of nice detailing everywhere Maybe the car columns very expensive paint job, professional paint job that I dare say how much it costs but it's a lot of money and this is the plain side I suppose uh, traditionally you would always have one blank side so you were overlooking the game. While we're here, this is where all your electrics are. Proper consumer unit, RCD. Uh, storage box is one on the other side as well. Uh, chassis, it's a seven and a half ton military uh, trailer chassis. So it can certainly carry a couple of ton of this van, no problem. Steering dolly at the front, nice and easy to move. I've got an A-frame. Um, I've actually towed this a short distance behind my Jeep, no problem, I've got overrun brakes on it I'm not suggesting you could tow it home but certainly for moving it around it's very easy um, although having said that I can't find anything in the law that says you couldn't tow this legally um, but that's for you to decide double glazed windows in the bedroom, a bit more detailing as you can see Let's see if we can get back here and give you an overview, this is the interesting side I think Lovely big bay window, double opening windows with that raised roof section. No need for it, just make it a bit different and a bit prettier. Tires are all good. We moved it around, don't bother at all. Six inch blue. Um, I'll say they're opening windows. Ooh, do you like that bit of detail? I don't know if you can see, but up there we've got all that detail that runs all the way around the van Little bits of detail under the window uh, we really expared, you know, spared no expense on this we've gone, gone all out to make it well I think it's the best van we've ever made there you go we'll go and have a look inside uh, the steps are hinged of course so that it can rock around but when you put it on site you'll jack it anywhere I would think uh, Barn door, so of course you can shut it all, I just have half open to let the breeze in. Let's go and have a look. So, big heavy exposed beams, Tiffany lamp covered light shades. Um, Lovely 6 kilowatt Gordon multi-fuel stove, so that'll burn wood or coal and it gets very toasty in here, trust me. Um, just take the boots off and we'll go in. So, plenty of room for a few comfy chairs. I've got an American rocker in. Uh, none of the furniture, the chairs and ornaments and stuff are included at this price as listed, but they are all for sale and we can come to a deal if you want it just as it is, I'm sure. Nice sock dryer for when you get wet feet and when you're out on walks and what have you. Lots of nice detailing in here. Big heavy corbels. Hand carved corbels there. We've got double glazed windows to the front. Single glazed to the side. Useful little kitchen unit. Uh, we've got a fridge freezer there. Uh, hot and cold water. Cold water from the top. From the, t from the top. From the tap and hot water through the little water heater on the wall there. Bit of storage for your cups. Uh, nice little built-in dresser, so there's a bit of cupboard space and drawer space there. Little cooker if you need it. Uh, this living section part is, I think, 12 feet long or thereabouts. And then we've got a 6 foot long bedroom which we'll come to in a moment. Um, we've also got a proper bathroom. We've built this with rental holidays in mind really. So what we've done is put a proper porcelain toilet in with an extractor fan so that there's none of this having to empty chemical toilets every weekend and that type of thing, we're not into that so a bit nicer for the guests and a bit nicer for you hopefully so this is a bedroom again we've carried the theme through 
got two big cupboards at the back there for storing all your clothes and everything that's a four foot double bed and then underneath we've got two full size singles two foot six by six foot so nice and cosy in here uh, lots of storage under the beds for bags suitcases what have you the table just slots into these runners so it's out the way and I should say while we're in here uh, everything is fully insulated there's three inches of insulation in the walls the floors ceiling so it's very cosy uh, I say the table collapses and just slides into them runners so it's all out the way to give you a lot more floor space there you go it's a really nice cosy living space actually uh, I think for holidays it'll work very well but uh, even for longer term you know very cosy very comfortable and uh, very inviting I think you'll agree so there you go um, the painted panels might be gone by the time this hits a web by the way I'm not very happy with them so they may get replaced yet but we'll see anything else you need to see um, we've literally just finished this like 10 minutes ago so I've still got to give the windows a clean and what have you but all that will be done very soon um, so any questions please do get in touch uh, we've built a few of this type of thing we do very standard shepherd huts we do showman's wagons uh, I've already started the next one of these which is basically the same thing but without the extra bedroom on the back and without the bathroom um, you know we're happy to discuss your requirements build what you want um, and of course this one is for sale this one is advertised now uh, if you want to have a chat about it by all means give me a bell um, I've got money and uh, you, this could be in your garden or earning you money very soon uh, rental price for these sort of thing at the moment is between five and six hundred pounds per week in summer by the way um, so not a bad investment I think you'll agree so let's just get some boots on and we'll just go back outside for a moment uh, several several coats of paint on the floors what have you just to protect them a little bit um, uh, let's just come back out and give you a last view I should have lit the fire for you really but it's just not that cold so there you go okay I think that's enough so any questions drop me a line and we'll see you again.